they are all in it for the music, but what about the money? money, money, money. Well, British artists like Jessie J really are hitting the high note. Emily Sande wasn't just lying on a sofa. Last year, UK pop stars, including her, made £4 billion for the British economy, up by a sweet-sounding 9% on the year before. So what's changed, I hear you ask? Well, two words, live music. Gigs like Kate Bush's sold out before the dawn, a prime example. Last year, there was a 20% rise in gig ticket sales. Yes, we really love live music. It made, wait for it, £789 million for the British economy. Life. Artists including Ellie Goulding meant that last year one in eight albums sold worldwide were made by British pop stars, bringing in billions. DJ Jen Long runs her own record label and has a theory on why British music is having such a brilliant time. Britain is the place to be. If you're a new band, if you're trying to break a market, you want to come to the UK and you want to break the UK. It's just so exciting. Like, think of all the greatest bands through history and, like, 90% of them are British. Like, we're just brilliant. <laughs> we hate to put a downer on things, but it's not all good news. Despite One Direction dancing their way to having the best-selling album of 2013, revenue from recorded music actually fell last year. I think the music industry has got issues. I mean, album, physical album sales are down, but that's just more the fact that the music industry is evolving rather than in crisis. More people are going to gigs than ever before. Well, it might not be about the money, but British music is certainly making buckets of it. Minnie Stevenson, Five News.